Hi Jules. I am back. Hopefully the sound is right now. Um, we're going to be working on uh, a technique called smooshing. Hopefully I got this right. Please correct me if I'm wrong. So what we're going to need is some clear plastic wrap, some ink and paper, and a little bit of alcohol. So we're going to be playing around with, uh, with this today. So get your paper out, get your ink out, and come play along. All right, so I have my paper. And it's just regular coffee paper. We're going to test it out and see what happens. So we're going to get our paper. I'm going to get a little bit of plastic wrap or saran wrap in some places. This is El Cheapo, Dollar General brand. The most expensive thing you got. Ah. Yeah, well, that ain't gonna, that, ain't, that didn't happen. <laughs> Time to get another piece. It just took a minute. take a couple of drops of this ink. This is uh, Dr. P.H. Uh, Martin Bombay India ink. This is because of turquoise. This one is crimson. Let's see what these colors turn out. Come on. Bubbled up on me. Alright, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to try this and I'm going to spray some alcohol on this and I change caps because that's my list. My glue is make one like this. Hopefully you guys can see me all right. Let's pull that up just a little bit. There we go. All right, so I am going to spray a little bit of this alcohol on top of these inks. I'm going to try just move the paper around this. Not a really good turnout, but we'll add something else. Let's add the alcohol first and see what happens. Ooh, that don't feel too good on little kitten scratches on your hands. Oh, you feel it. You feel it. Let's try some golden yarn. See what this does. Oh, notification on my phone. 
stop your video clicker. Turn that down. There we go. Pretty much. Now, I'm going to try this again. I wonder. Mix that up. Bit more yellow in there. See what happens, ladies. How about it? Let's see. Let's see this piece of paper. Close that down. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Wow, better than I expected. Wowzers, love that. Let's see if I can get a little bit more of this ink. Over there. Yeah, that's really pretty on the background. Don't y'all think? I'm very woodsy. Speaking of woodsy. How about we try some dark browns to get the same effect? How about it? You know what? I'm just going to lift it up and lay it back down. Give it a little bit of texture. I'm going to spray the alcohol again. I'm going to drop some Van Dyke Brown. Sepia. And we're going to drop a little bit of that yellow back in. We might get a, a wood tone. What do y'all think? And we're going to rub that in like we did the yellow. Get the color. All right, let's see what that does. Look at that. A very woodsy pattern. Can cut some leaves and stuff out of that for fall. Very pretty. All right. Got some terracotta color here. Spray. I'm just going to leave all them colors on there. that up again and see what that comes out to look like. And use a piece of thread and kind of mix all of that up. Look at 
picture, we can make a seaweed type of picture with, from the same technique. Let's try that. Try that. Let's wipe this off. Get the brown off. You could also use this like a jelly plate too, if you, if you don't have one. Like a very, very similar technique. Right, let's spray the alcohol. back on here. beautiful texture. You can see it already. Look at that. that beautiful texture. It's trying to come. Look at that beautiful texture. That worked out really well. Look at that. Right back, guys. Right back. Sorry, guys. That was the honey calling. We're going to do a few more that way you guys can get the hang of the technique. Let's use some real pretty purple East colors with this. And I'm not even going to bother wiping that up because that actually bring it out really well. You can hear my kitten by holler. That was chili. And this one is red dollar. Right. I'm just going to mush it in there with this color already on it. Oh, wow, look at the pretty purple color coming out of it. Oh, that looks like a unicorn. Mm -hmm. okay. All right, we're going to place this down. Look how gorgeous that is. Look how pretty. Look at the gradient. The gradient. Oh, wow. I know who's going to be getting these. Yep, yeah. yep, yep. Yeah. Goes to a one commissioned lady. Alright, let's put some more of the turquoise in. A lot more of the cherry. Let's put some crimson down. Wipe them out. Right. Now let's move it around, spread that color out. Right. Place it down. 
this is a good way to get a repeat print if you want. It's got the same texture and the texture's not moving. Since it's on a glass mat, it's not moving from the shine wrap. And that'll be a good way to get you a repeat print. How pretty it is. But you can move that plastic wrap any way you want to. To put that in order to get the texture that you want. Great way to do that. Alright, I'm going to spray some alcohol on this because the honey is going to be hungry soon. And so we're just wanting to pull up the rest of this color. The word he is blowing his horn. Alright, last pull. I gotta go. Alright, see that? Gorgeous. Alrighty, guys. It's getting loud. I gotta go outside and 